I want to talk about the Pixel 7 Pro cameras. Yes, the cameras. So I've had this for about a week now, coming close to a week, and I'm going to make this, it's not going to be a long video because I want to get into this and show you the pictures. I took a pretty good handful of pictures with this phone, and I got to say, I'm impressed. And on top of being impressed, apparently everybody else is impressed too because it has the highest rated DxO Mark score for a smartphone camera. Yes, it edged out the iPhone 14 Pro, Pro Max, the S22 Ultra, like all those guys. The Pixel 7 Pro sits alone at the top. And let's see why. So <laughs> let's go into this and I want to show you some of these pictures so you can see. Now, the great thing about this phone is now not only do you have the regular camera, you got the new ultra wide. The ultra wide also has autofocus because it's capable of taking those macro shots. So totally love the macro shots. You've got the new telephoto lens, which is great. You can reach out and touch stuff and it correlates the images between the primary camera and the telephoto. And it kind of makes two images into one. So you get more accuracy. And then you've got the same selfie camera that we had last year. You got also the new Tensor 2, the Tensor G2 platform in the corner powering it so you get faster processing, better post-processing on your images, faster things on things like your Magic Eraser, and also the stuff to un unblur your photos, all the great stuff, even faster nighttime images. So just showing you a lot of these images that I've taken here. I went outside, I took a couple inside. A lot of it I took pictures of different flowers, which is something I like to do because it's very dynamic, especially outside. It was fairly windy. So some of these I had to take a couple of shots to try and get the best one. But the great thing about the Pixel is it has such a fast shutter response. When you press the shutter, bam, it snaps the image. It's not like the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra or the other Samsung phones where it has that delay built into it, which is really annoying. So taking a look at the photos, great colors, nice and vibrant. And the great thing I like about the Pixel, it reminds me a lot of the old LG color profile very natural. It's like something you would really kind of see with your own eyes. It's not the oversaturated brilliance of the S22. It's not kind of that yellowish, more yellow light hue that you get a lot of times with the iPhones or especially that makes people look orange when the HDR kicks in sometimes. This one, you got everything. And if you want to shoot on the video side, of course, you got 10-bit video now, HDR, all that great stuff. But primarily talking about the cameras here, Man, they did a great job with this phone, with the cameras, with the camera setup. Primarily, this here is focusing on just a regular camera. And once I get into my full review of the phone next week, then we'll dive more into some of the more special situations. But I really just wanted to show you some of these photos that I've been taking because gosh darn, they look good. And I like it a lot. And I'm really glad. I was disappointed with the Pixel 6 Pro because, of course, they didn't have the macro capability. But then... As soon as I heard about it, the rumors on this one, I was like, yes, we get the macro in the Pixel 7 Pro. I wish it was in the Pixel 7 too, but then of course, everybody would buy the, everybody would buy the Pixel 7. Nobody would buy the Pixel 7 Pro. So even the selfies, I think the selfies look top notch too, especially with the portrait mode. And what's funny, this one is funny. You hold the, pho the phone up when you go to take like a portrait shot and it just looks kind of like a normal photo. The processing is so fast now. It's like taking a normal photo, then you flip it over to the images so you can see what it looks like, and bam, like the blur is applied. So, yes, I am a fan. I think that it's very well deserving of the DxO mark. I think that it's gotten better in a lot of key areas, and really the Tensor G2, the extra machine learning prowess and power and AI stuff, really adds to that computational photography pipeline to give you the best possible shots possible. Now, I've had some people like, oh, I don't like how processed they are. I don't like the, the extreme processing. Like, I don't think it's very extreme, but that's kind of what you get when it comes to smartphones. You're taking something and converting it to a digital image. It's always going to be processed. And the more processing it is, the usually the more lifelike. But I think they did a good job here. I think the cameras, I think they stand out. I do think that it's very commiserate with the score that they gave it with the DxO Mark number one smartphone camera bam once again but it's a tight race and if you look at that list the iphone 14 pro max 14 pro i think are only like one or two points down below it so really 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 tight race whenever it comes to the best smartphone camera so that's all i've gotten this one what do you think do you think the images look good do you think that it's something that's inspiring do you think that google is doing a good job holding on to their smartphone camera king title because they're pretty good at this. They're, they're really good about coming back to back to back and a lot of a lot of different prowess here that's being exercised and flexed in the camera modules on these phones. So 
that's all I got. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your comments on the photos. And hopefully I did a good job representing the phone images so that way you could see them and say, okay, he doesn't suck at taking camera shots. <laughs> um, but if I do, let me know. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, and please go down in the comment section. I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and a little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.